<laughs> oh my goodness. You know, and that brings us to a good point, Marty. Of, of all the races that we've covered over the years with Mickey Thompson, very few have received the attention that this next one did. Well, back in 1990 at the Coliseum, we talked about at the beginning of the show, when you see the ESPN Speed World Open and you see that motorcycle rider flying off 60 feet down the peristyles at the Coliseum, well, that was Larry Brooks. And the story behind it of how he finished the race is as amazing as the crash itself. Now watch Brooks come over this jump. Watch him come over this jump right here. Oh! Oh! He ate him alive. He had him for lunch. He was a lunchable. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. You know, it's almost like ballet. Don't, don't, that's a classic footage that you always see of these slow motion guys. And at nighttime, there'd be flash bulbs going off like you wouldn't believe it here. Well, Coda Jarvie is holding on to the position so far, but I don't think it's a matter of if, but when he surrenders the lead to Mike Craig. You know, I'll be honest Larry with Brooks. you, Marty. I mean, Coda Jarvie is really hung in there on this one. He's got two of the best racers, or the two best racers, chasing him down right now. And on board that Kawasaki, he is held tough. We've got a couple of riders down, Marty, on the far side of the course. I don't know if you can see him. There's the battle as the race continues. We'll keep you posted on what happens over there. You know, I like the fact that they use the double peristyle. It just opens up the excitement. Watch this, Marty. He's got some heat on his tailpipes, and Mike Craig has taken the lead. Brooks is running to second place, and Coda Jarvie has surrendered to third. Bus Here. Chamberlain in fourth. Oh, look at this. Now, that was a great shot. You can see how high these two are getting. Well, now it comes down to row number six. Is what it comes down to at this point. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Craig or is it going to be Brooks? Four laps to go. Well, three and a half to go. we got to tell you, that's fighting for first now, folks, because Coda yeah. Jarvie has uh, long since departed the premises. He's back in third and fading fast. And keep in mind those manufacturer points here between Yamaha and Kawasaki. Half a lap to go. They fly through that classic arch at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Okay, let's see whose line ends up being the right line down the base here because this is going to be the race right here. All right, Craig usually goes out to the berm. Not this. Oh, it's, oh look at this. Ah, nice they, move. Oh, they flip-flopped that time, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's a mental thing because what, what Craig does there is he forces Larry Brooks to change his line and maybe he changed his mind. And, and for that moment of hesitation, oh, and Brooks is off. Oh, no, Marty, he goes tail over tea kettle. He is up, but he is wobbly. He looks like a prize fighter that just took the right jab to send him down. And, and Mike Craig looks oh, back. Craig knows exactly what happened. He looked over his shoulders. Marty, that was unbelievable. He needed those inches, those inches so desperately that he took the ultimate dive that time. Oh, my goodness. We talk about the mind games yeah. that are played in, the, in sports. Maybe, just maybe, that was part of it right there. Marty, he's trying to get back on that bike. He is wobbly, but he's trying to get back on. He may... He's trying to finish because he has to get across the line just to, to, to get the points and to make it to the main. Oh, and listen to this crowd. Listen to the crowd come to life. This is incredible. Marty, this is a memory that will live in my mind as long as I think of the Mickey Thompson offer of championship ground. Look at the, look at the heat. Play. 90 degree heat. He's got to get it up over that hill. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know if you can get some help on that either. He, I don't know what the, the rules committee uh, will say there, but... He's hurting, Marty. Look at him grabbing oh. his ribs. What a, what a heroic effort by Larry Brooks. Unbelievable. All right, let's take a look and see what happens to uh, Larry Brooks. Now, he, this was his normal race line up on the top end of the peristyles. He would go to the berm, but he comes out just a little bit too wide. Look at it here. The, the, right, the front tire is sliding. It's pushing on him, and he catches the safety barrier there. And look at this right off of the edge. And he hits hard on his right ribs, and it looks as though he had the wind knocked out of him momentarily but he doesn't give up.